Gang banging, doing drugs, stealing, fighting, running away, running the streets, and not come down and have these consequences right here, I'll give you a hundred dollar bill. Guess how many times I've given the hundred dollar bill away? Will I ever have to give the hundred dollar bill away? Now I'm up to a check for ten thousand dollars. I'll say to kids, I've been doing this for ten years, and ten years with millions of kids, I've never had to give away the one hundred dollar bill. So I'm a little cocky now. I say to kids, I'll give you a check for ten thousand dollars if you can explain to me because to me it's worth ten thousand dollars because when I used to do those things it was a lot funner I ain't gonna lie to you and so everybody with me but the problem is I can't be with this beautiful girl I wouldn't be talking to you all right now does that make sense if I was locked up I, ha I really don't know any more than this picture right here I had to stop crashing that was the reality and then I'll say to kids this is the good news you don't have to believe anything I just taught you because the kids I'm working with they're pretty street savvy they got a million people talking their ears off trying to get them to get out of that gang I tell them I'm an idiot. Do not believe a damn word I just told you. Let's see if what Christian Moore just taught, let's see if it's true on the streets. So I say, look, watch what's going on at home, at school, and I turn them all into sociologists. We do everything from an observational standpoint. I'll say, watch what's going on in your neighborhood. Come back and explain to me how people are doing these things right here, gang banging, skipping school, using drugs, sex acting out, fighting, running away, and not coming down and having this crash right here. Why would I want them to observe this for themselves and then come back and report to me? Because human beings are a billion times more likely to change their behavior if they figure it out themselves versus me lecturing to them about it. Because they've already had 10,000 lectures on this topic. Like I said, I'm the 5,000th person to lecture them on this topic. So I take it off of me and put it onto them. So I say, let's see what really goes down in the rule. You know what most kids say to me? Thanks for telling me the truth. You're the first adult to cut through the crash, especially street smart kids, especially gangbangers. They're already 20 years older than me. They've been through far more pain than I've ever been through in my 38 years of life. You know what they do? They come to me in tears. They go, you're the first adult to tell me the truth. Because a lot of times with gangbangers, we want to placate them. We're intimidated by them. Does that make sense? They got attitude. They give you that nervous feeling in your gut when you're around them. It's, it's kind of a code on the street. They know when someone's telling them the truth. Does that make sense? When someone's not placating them? Does that make any sense what I'm saying? It's hard. I've got to figure out a better way to communicate this. There's a whole other world out there. So they know that I truly care about them because I'm cutting through the crap. Everybody with me? They've heard so many speeches and so much crap for the first 16, 17 years of their lives. They appreciate someone telling them the truth it make, and, and letting them figure it out themselves versus just putting it on me because they don't really care what Christian Moore thinks. Everybody with me on that? That's very important. That's what makes these pictures work. Otherwise, it's a stupid picture of a roller coaster. If they don't get personal insight on this, it's a stupid picture of a roller coaster. It's not a stupid picture of a roller coaster if the insight comes from them.